So yesterday I did a recording about the new Teams app and the functionality about front row and switching the camera, but it seemed like they wasn't fully updated of the switching of cameras, so I'll give you an update on this one. So once again, I have my Teams rooms connected. I'm capturing everything through NDI. So a bit late, um, or a bit latency, but anyway, it will still give you an understanding of how the Teams rooms is working right now. So basically I'm doing a ad hoc meeting, going into the meeting and I'll have a full view of my camera since I'm a, the only one in the call. But today this will work pretty good since that I'm just going to show you the camera switching. So yesterday I wasn't able to switch the camera unless uh, that I attached a touch screen or a mouse to work over my own screen or my own camera and then switching the camera like that. But here I have now the fully updated and it is general available already. Uh, there's a small arrow down just next to the camera. So if I hit that one then I would have a preview of the existing camera but I can easily switch to another camera that I have attached to the system. So imagine that you have a town hall meeting or an education session where you want to have a camera at the one that actually do the speaks, but then you would also like to have the audience cam. And as soon as you switch to the audience cam, then you would have the audience cam right um, out, sending that uh, to the Teams rooms. So it works really well and I really like the feature of that. You can actually have that preview already just next to um, on the console. So basically switching between the two cameras if I can hit the right button. So far it's only naming the cameras uh, the name of the camera. You can't do any changes to that. So it could be an option to change. I have two different cameras so you can easily find it. I hope in the future that it will be possible to change the name of the camera for like a presenter cam or an audience cam. So it will be easier for the audience to actually uh, or the users to actually choose which camera to choose. So basically what you need to do is just attach another camera and then it will work. There is some settings though that where you can set the default camera, which would be really nice. So the, under the peripherals, you can set the default camera. So in that way, it will always start on the speaker camera. And um, I think that will be uh, really important to set up the right uh, version. So thanks a lot for watching. My name is Lars Barlow. See you out there. Bye.